You know, I thought that, uh, you know, we uh, we have trouble. Carolina has really played very good defense against us in the two games. I, I thought in Syracuse we handled a little bit better. Um, uh, but uh, I thought their defense was really good in half court. And uh, we just uh, really couldn't get penetration against them. And, uh, you know, we had some opportunities. I, this team's fought as hard as, uh, you know, any team I've ever coached. I think uh, there was a time there where with 10 minutes to go, we're down about 18 or 19. I mean, they just dug in and got it all the way back to nine. I mean, they fought uh, as hard as you can ask a team. We're a little limited. Um, it's uh, obviously seven guys. It's tough to play as many games as we've had to play in the last really two weeks. And uh, but I'm very proud of uh, what they've done. They've really worked hard through it. Uh, I thought we had some opportunities when we got back. We had a couple pretty good looks uh, when we got it to nine, and you know we just didn't didn't capitalize. But uh, these guys fought as hard as you could ask them to fight. Fight. I'm very proud of this team. Questions? Raise your hand. Let's get the handheld mics to you. Who's the first question? Jim, do you think this is a, a tournament team? Have they earned a bid? Right here. Every coach in the country thinks this team's a tournament team. Anybody that's anywhere near. As I said yesterday, we've got the lowest strength or the high, best strength of schedule we've had in years, like 15, 20, something like that, both non conference and conference. Our RPI was, for, what, 42 going into today. With that RPI and that strength of schedule, it's pretty good. Uh, last year we didn't win road games. We won at Miami, we won at Louisville. We won four or five road games. Uh, it'll be close. I mean, there's a lot of teams. It just depends what the committee decides, how they decide things. And, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's a whole group of teams that, you know, some some it's almost a coin flip, but we we this team's I think has played very well. I think we're uh, competitive with anybody. Let's see what what they decide. Back of the room to our right. Yeah, Frank and Tyus, how difficult was it to get to the room tonight? Uh, I mean, they they did a great job of uh, you know flooding the paint and. Uh, Staying in front of us, uh, you know they're, they're a great defensive team. Uh, they played the ball screen very well, and uh, yeah, it just made it difficult for us. Um, just like Frank said, they played the ball screen well. Um, they made it tough getting to the basket. They're stepping up, trying to take charges and stuff like that. So they, they played it well. Hey, coach. Obviously, uh, four day stretch before Selection Sunday. What do you guys plan to do over the next four days, and where will you be watching on Sunday? You know, we practice and watch it in the in the practice facility on Sunday, um, but uh, you know, we'll take a couple days and uh, do some stuff Friday or Saturday and Sunday, and uh, see what happens. We're going to play next week. We'll be ready. Any other questions? Front, second row. Jim. You know, despite the injuries, the departures, the young team, what do you think allowed you guys to be in play for a tournament spot this year still on Sunday? Like I said in the beginning, uh, this team has uh, <laughs> really battled all year. We had a stretch. We lost some games, and we had to go to Louisville, which is a, obviously a tough place to play and a very good basketball team, and we won there. And then we had another stretch, then we went to Miami, and we were able to get a win there. Um, you know, we played North Carolina, North Carolina State, a tie game late. We just, you know, we couldn't make a play. But, you know, we had those opportunities and we had a couple other opportunities early year. But these guys have hung in there. Uh, it's very difficult when you play, you can play 40 minutes, but not when you play Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just too much. You know, we've had the last part uh, just not enough rest days in between. 
Uh, and it's not just the 40 minutes, but when you're, you know, when you have to make plays off the dribble, which we really have to do, it's, it takes an extra toll on you. But uh, like I said, these guys, uh, considering everything, uh, I think they've done everything we could ask them to do. I, I can't fault anything that, that this, this group has done. From right. Uh, Jim, over here. From um, right. Mm -hmm. O'Shea, I can hear you. O'Shea didn't seem to really have his best yesterday. He kind of passed up some open threes, and then tonight he made five. A lot of them were totally contested. Was there anything that you saw that played into that? No, he's he shot the ball well from the three-point line the last half, three-quarters of the year. Uh, he's our best three-point shooter. Uh, he had started out slow, but he has shot it well. Uh, he kept us in there a little bit tonight with it. Um, but uh, he's had a great freshman year. You know, at the, at the end of the day, we're playing, you know, four freshmen in our front line and one junior who has never played a whole season. So to do what they've done, the front line guys, um, uh, I just can't say enough about what they've done uh, this year, how they played, how they've competed. And then these two guys, you can play a lot of minutes, but you need a little bit of a break. And the problem with playing a lot of minutes with the way we're playing is that these guys have to really do it off the dribble. And we just don't have a post game. We've got four perimeter guys and a big guy that's getting better defensively, but he's not a factor on the offensive end. Uh, but I think that both our big guys are getting better. Baram has been hurt. His knees bother him. When he gets going, he's a good player. I think he can get his knee fixed pretty easily. That's not a big fix. And I think he'll be fully healthy next year. And we'll have a couple guys to come in that give us some depth that we need. Uh, you know, when you're coaching a team and you have seven, six guys, you say during the year, that's enough. But you're never gonna. I'm never. I'm never gonna say. Well, we don't have enough. <laughs> or I'm never gonna say these guys can't play 40 minutes. Because for us to get where we are now, they had to, three guys had to play 40 minutes every game. Last question to our right. Sam Fordier, the Daily Orange. Jim, what made North Carolina so effective inside today, and how'd you try to counter that? Well, they're very good inside. They've got they're a very good passing team. Um, they're uh, they've got guys that can finish around the basket. We've guarded them pretty well in the three point line in the two games. Uh, we just haven't been able to do anything inside. Pascal getting in foul trouble is not a good thing. You know, it's just it's the way the game went. Uh, the first play was a bad start. We you know, I thought we got a good block and it was a foul. You know. Uh, but uh, with him out is uh, is not good for our inside defense, and uh, you know some of that's just learning. He's learning the game, but uh, our front line guys, you know, they're playing against guys that won the national championship, guys that are very smart players, interior passers, uh, and uh, uh, very good offensive players. You know. But in, in this game, we, we had to be able to score more than we did, and we, we weren't able to do that. And you have to give Carolina credit for that as well. Thank you. Thank you.